There are a lot of banks merging these days and a lot of banking fees on the rise and services on the decline. Getting fed up? It's not just you. Oh, absolutely. They're tired of fees. They're tired of the hours the banks are open, not getting the one-on-one -on -one service. But if your bank is changing names or you're just no longer happy with the service, maybe it's time to shop. Smaller banks and credit unions often offer better rates and lower fees. But before you switch, beware. Don't make the split more hassle or expensive than it has to be. First, ask your new bank or credit union if they offer a switch kit. They usually come with forms to change direct deposits and automatic payments, and even notices to tell your old bank you're closing the account. But don't close it entirely. Leave a cash cushion in your old account to cover payments you might have overlooked, like magazine subscriptions or gym dues. Leave it open for about three months or until you're absolutely sure it's cool. Third, make sure you can view your new account online and follow the action daily at first. Make sure you your employer is depositing to it and your creditors are withdrawing from it. Bottom line, rising fees and changing names, that's not just an annoyance, it's a call to action. So if you're not happy with your bank, bust a move. I can show you how to find some of the best savings rates and the lowest loan rates right here at moneytalksnews.com. I'm Stacy Johnson. If you like this story, sign up for our free newsletter. You'll see our stories first and receive a special gift, 205 Ways to Save.